Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Soul Winning Motivator broadcast, broadcast number 11. My name is Daniel White, the third president of Gospel Light Society. As always, it is so good to be with you today to encourage you to witness for the Lord Jesus Christ in these last and evil days. The simple purpose of this broadcast is to encourage you and uh, challenge you to share your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ with those who are lost around you by any means necessary. Our soul winning verse from the Word of God today is John 336 which reads, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Allow me, dear friend, to share with you some important insights regarding this passage from the Jameson Fawcett and Brown Commentary on the Bible. The phrase hath everlasting life means that someone already has it. The contrast here is striking. The person already has a life that will endure forever. The other person not only does not have it now, but shall never have it or never see it. The belief a person places on Christ cannot be removed and must necessarily remain on him. Note how flatly this contradicts the teaching of many in our day that there neither was nor is anything in God against sinners which needed to be removed by Christ but only in men against God. Ladies and gentlemen, our soul winning quote today is from the Prince of Preachers, Charles Spurgeon. Uh, he said, Reckon then that to acquire soul winning power, you will have to go through mental torment and soul distress. You must go into the fire if you are going to pull others out of the fire. And you will have to dive into the floods if you are going to draw others out of the water. You cannot work a fire escape without feeling the scorch of the conflagration, nor man a lifeboat without being covered with the waves. Our soul winning devotional today is part six of personal soul winning, how to do it by the late Dr. John R. Rice. He goes on to say simple steps in winning a soul using John chapter 3. This is uh, the third point. He says John 3 6 says that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. You might say to the sinner perhaps you had a wonderfully good mother as I did and a good father by human standards. But our parents were human and frail and imperfect, and so we were born the same way. The reason we need to be born again is because we were born with a fallen nature in the first place. And so any fleshly birth then still means we must be born again to ever see God in peace. It is well here for you to stress that we are all sinners. Get the sinner to admit that he is not perfect, that he is a sinner too, that he has fallen short in God's sight, that often when he means to do well he does not do right, that when he makes resolutions he sometimes breaks them. Do not leave the impression I am good and you are bad. No, make sure that you take the sympathetic, honest position that we are all sinners alike and need forgiveness alike. 
and that unless we come to get a new heart, there is no hope of heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, we will continue looking at this topic if the Lord tarries his coming and we live in our next broadcast.